This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. What's good, y'all? Broadcasting live from Fort Worth, Texas. This is Creighton Wallace, and as you all know, I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. I'm smoking green. Want to say rest in peace, and I want to send my condolences to the family of 28-year-old Akai Gurley. If I'm saying his name wrong, please forgive me uh, to the family and everything. Akai was gunned down Thursday night in the Pink House Projects in Brooklyn, New York. He was gunned down by Officer Peter Lang. Peter Lang and his partner were patrolling the Pink House Projects. They came down the stairs and his excuse is it was dark and he couldn't see. So he pulls his gun out and just starts shooting, I guess. Very, very sorry to hear about this. I don't even know what to say, black people. I mean, my whole... Conclusion to all this mess that's going on, we won't get help until we help ourselves. Let me re repeat that. We won't get help until we help ourselves. The president is not going to address race because it's politically incorrect to do so. Even though the issue of race goes from a social issue into spilling out into the courtroom and becoming a legality, the president is not going to address this. He's not going to help us. So anybody that's looking to the president for help on an issue like this is crazy. I want to say it one more time. We will not receive any help until we help ourselves. This has been going on since we got to America. And it's not going to stop. They just found different ways to do it. But it looks like they're going back to the old methods. Once again, um, the officers also, or should I say the media, has also pulled up this guy's criminal record and already... Uh, just like they did Michael Brown and countless others, they are demonizing a dead man trying to get this officer a lesser sentence or a lesser punishment. You know, uh, they pulled up the guy's criminal record, but the guy's criminal record doesn't matter. At the end of the day, he was unarmed and walking upstairs with his girlfriend to go to their apartment to chill. Now, my next story, victim number eight has stepped forward. Miss Renita Cheney Hill says that 32 years ago when she was a 15 year old aspiring actress allegedly helping Cosby on some kids show that he had that Cosby drugged her and sexually assaulted her. Now she also says that their relationship continued into her college years as he paid her tuition, flew her to different cities, would put her in a hotel, come to the hotel at night and insist that even though she was underage, she had a dream. And she says she wouldn't remember what happened until she woke up the next day and he was gone. Now, I don't know what that sounds like to y'all, but it sounds like sugar daddy gone bad. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're 18 and above, you shouldn't be messing with nobody that's below 18. That's just the law. But at the same time, when you're 15 years old, you know damn well what you're doing. I feel like she's throwing the, the drugs in there to make herself look good. And it looks like a sugar daddy stopped paying kind of issue to me. Just like Bishop Long and them little boys. What you think, Wanky? I would like to stay away from the little boys. <laughs> so should you, Bishop Long. <laughs> Yeah, Bishop Raw, you wrong for them little boys, and people still going to his church, ain't they? <sighs> I mean, no man is perfect, but come on, Bishop Law. Anyway, back to Bill Cosby. I also want to add, Bill Cosby is a very upstanding black celebrity, and I really feel like this is a conspiracy to take credibility away from him. I mean, uh, that's what the American media does. That's what the American government does. Any upstanding black man in the history of this country, they've either killed him and or found some kind of way to publicly take credibility away from this person. But y'all let me know what y'all think. And in hip hop news, Lil Bow Wow sends his goons to go beat up Tony Rock, because Tony Rock went on Twitter and said, Bow Wow be loving these hoes. He said, you know, he called Eric Amina a whore. 
So Lil Bow Wow sends the goons to see Tony Rock. But what really tripped me out was Lil Bow Wow talked about on Facebook, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, um, we're going to talk when I see you. Lil Bow Wow, you know your little five foot three ass ain't finna go see nobody. And on top of that, why you get mad at the man for telling the truth? You watch Love and Hip Hop just like everybody else did. Erica Mina wasn't interested in rich dollars. She was interested in riches dollars. That's what kind of slimy little slut whore she is. I mean, the woman you're about to marry is a cock-eating whore pig, and that's just what it is. But Bow Wow has a history of loving these hoes. Didn't he have Superhead pregnant a while back? <laughs> what she do? No, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> no, no, for real. I, man, I don't even remember, you, man. Bow Wow, I mean, you know, if you love hoes, hey man, it's a free country. You can love hoes, but just don't get mad when nobody call you out on it, dog. That's all I got for today. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel at YouTube forward slash C Wallace 318. Also, go to my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Craig Wallace DFW and uh, like my Facebook page. And uh, make sure y'all leave some comments and let me know what y'all be thinking, dog. I'm out. Peace. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, yeah, dog. I'm smoking green and drinking brown. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, yeah, dog. Feel like I'm running out of time. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. You better stay up on your grind. I just be thinking, dog. I just Yo, be thinking, dog. Republican Party Klansmen, please feel please this. Feel it's the same how racist this fucking country still is. Damn. Barack had death threats before he even ran. Cause all they saw was a nigga that ain't